Welcome back to the Gusky. I am Gray, and today we might wrap up promotion with three games to spare. So, what that means is basically if we get any sort of points here today, we are going to win promotion. So, that's that. We're 11 points ahead of KTP today, and... If we happen to maintain that 11-point advantage with only three matches left to play, we're up. So, that's the plan. That's pretty much all there is to it. Go in, not lose. Sound good? Of course, can't really go in with that sort of mentality. And I actually considered like opening up the floodgates and you know really going after FC Jazz and attacking. But... But I think I'm just going to stick with what's been working pretty well with us lately. Um, you know, it's just... Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Of course, they didn't really respond to that very well. But anyhow, um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of nice to, to, to come into this game knowing what you need to do. Um, like I said, I had some pretty close running things. I've lost the title by like one point before. I've won the title by one point. I was both, those were both in Norway, I believe, if I remember right. Yeah, I think, I think those are both in Norway. Well, when I, when I played it, when I had a club there, but, oof, passing movement isn't bad. Just ask the ball. Oh, oh, and they get that tackle in right at the last second. Jesus, we're really simming through a ton of this shit today. Who have you? We're already 12 minutes into it, and you know we're not even we're not even really into the game yet. But anyhow, um, oh, I I did not tell you Mika and Nermela is injured for like three to four weeks, so um, I don't I don't think he announced his retirement or anything like that. He's like 42 years old. But he, uh, yeah, he's gone for the rest of the season. Obviously, I mean, you only got like three matches left, and uh, it's about five days in between each one. So, um, yeah, um, not really the end of the world. As you see, I, I dropped Harala back there to to pair up with Owusu, and um, we should be fine. And Hanan just then takes over in midfield with Ose. And oh boy, what the fuck was that? Jesus. Talk about panicky defending. Holy hell. Like three guys going on the ground there. Shit. Anyway, uh, hopefully we can, uh, you know, there we go. Now, oh, there you go. Use that pace. Just run forward with the ball. Bomb forward. That's it. Just get up there. Oof. And oh my god, Stasila. Nice. Nice. That's his 12th goal of the season. That's good to see. And a one goal lead already. We've been pretty good protecting this as of late. Um, in truth, I mean, I think, you know, that's one thing too I've noticed with this formation in particular. It's not a formation that does very well falling behind. You know, it's kind of predicated on not conceding. If you don't concede, oh boy. If you don't concede, uh, you know, you're, you're you're in good shape. Of course, that's just football in general, though. But I mean, you know, it's just, as I said before, this formation just doesn't create enough. How the hell is that not out? This formation just really doesn't create enough chances sometimes. I mean, your players have to play pretty well for it to create a lot of chances. Yeah, but... That's that's the way it is, and that's fine. Like I said, I mean, I'm I'm okay with this with this balance, defending first and kind of defending in midfield, and that's something too. I don't know if you noticed, we defend a lot more, a lot more in midfield up here. We are really not seeing a lot of this match today. Holy shit, we're gonna be done with the first half in like five minutes. But typically, we we defend we defend up here in this area of the pitch, you know, instead of defending inside our own box. I mean, that right there should be the deepest that we allow players. This is just the top of the box. And then that's, like I said, that's 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 kind of nice. I like that. That's kind of like the whole point of, you know, this formation. We defend a lot in here and, you know, 
Close to the mid areas. Oh my fucking Christ. Really? Really? Fucking hell. I mean, seriously, you kick the fucking ball and you hurt yourself? What the fuck is wrong with you? Good God. I mean, completely unchallenged. I understand if you're being challenged by a player and, you know, you got to get rid of it in an awkward position or something like that, but fucking hell, dude. You're passing it to a teammate. You can't handle that? Now we're going to be, now we're going to be all sorts of fucking wonky here with Lindholm and, uh, Staffs are lucky. Just saw right there. Lindholm didn't go for that. Staffs had to come over and cover. Oh boy. Just oh boy indeed. Oh yalla. What the fuck did you pass that for? Talk about being too unselfish. Holy shit. Hanan just needs to fucking rip that. Good god. Good god. Well. As you can see, not very many chances in this first half. We have one shot on goal, and one goal, and one shot in general. <laughs> they they are out shooting us, and now Hananen does that. He passed up on the easy one, but takes that one. Go figure. Well, here's, you know, yeah. I'm gonna be that guy. Yep, I'm gonna be that guy. Probably, probably not the best team talk there, but that quite honestly is really unacceptable. You know, I mean, we're we're controlling a decent amount of possession, but you know, oh Jesus, Haglum, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Just get rid of it. I mean, good God. See that right there where Hinkle, or Hinkle, like, oh my fucking Christ. Now Hagblum, Hagblum, kicking the fucking ball. Oh, that one, once again, is a little more understandable because he's clearing it, not just fucking passing it to a teammate of the fucking pitch. And we don't have anyone to cover for him, right, right on, honestly. Uh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's all I've got to say. I'm going to tell you right now, these way offsides. Or not. Jesus. There's nothing more, more frustrating as a manager. What the fuck? You took 10 minutes to fucking call that. If you'd have raised this flag long before that happened, you would have avoided the fucking injury to my player, you jackass. Fucking hell. Anyhow, I need to switch this because I had no real fucking choice here. At least have a true defender in the middle, at least. But there's nothing more frustrating as a manager than having to substitute your players. You, you only get three. It's it's one thing in like basketball, for example, where you have ro uh, you know you have a um, you have a rotation, you know. I mean, and, and you can substitute people freely. But it's something different in football. I mean, you get, you know, you've only got three substitutions, and there's nothing more fucking frustrating than having to use those when you don't want to. There's nothing, nothing, nothing more irritating. You feel so, so helpless. Oh, fuck. Seriously. Well, we just lost this fucking match. That's just fucking unbelievable. All because of the first fucking ten minutes of the second half. What the fuck are we doing here? Thank you. Just fucking score the thing. That's something too. I've I've had a problem coping with is why the fuck even at these lower levels. Although this division isn't too terrible, why the fuck are they at these lower levels? Are the players still that good? You know, like that, they'd never miss from the spot. I, I've never seen fuck you. I mean, you never, you never see the opposition miss from the spot. Never. Ever, 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 ever. And see, and that's, once again, that's, that's the fucking, oh, fuck you. Oh, Jesus. You know, like I was saying, the most, the most frustrating thing in the world is not being able to use your substitutions the way you should. You know, the way you can. 
you know, being forced into this sort of fucking shit is so goddamn annoying. I mean, now I'm pretty much just, you know, I might as well just keep him out there. I mean, I probably shouldn't because of the way they're fucking playing. And the amount of fouls we're racking up once again. It's very likely we've already conceded a corner. And that's up to two. I mean, I gotta play a Rins out of position because I have no one that's gonna play, you know, no one who can play defender. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at this, but I'm pretty damn sure I don't have anyone who can cover there. Probably should have looked before I got all pissed off and been out of shape, but you know, it's just me. What are you gonna expect? Yeah, I mean, everyone that we have at best is a defensive midfielder, so. I mean, you, I, yeah, like I said, I, I got no real option here. And it's just. I don't know. It just pisses me off. It puts me in a foul mood. Everything was going so well to the last two matches. So well. And then we get this shit. Like, seriously. I mean, and they're all... And, yeah, and then now... Yeah, all the inexperience and the people being played out of position. Ramasaho was a little too deep on that one there. But then again, I mean, what the fuck can he do? He's covering with a Renz who shouldn't be in there anyway. And has already conceded a penalty kick. So, I mean... You, know, you sacrifice so fucking much when this happens. So much. I mean, this is a sort of shit. Nice run there, but what can we, can we, can we finish? Oh, my lord. Oof. I thought Romasaha was going to be here or there for half a second. I mean, attacking, we're not too bad. It's just that defending, for obvious reasons, that's fucking worrying me that we're not going to be able to seal up the league right here. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Okay. Oh boy, I thought that was going to be one of those bullshit, you know, defender tackles the ball right into the path of a oncoming attacker and he just says, hey, I'll just take that and score with it because that's better service than I get from my own teammates. But nope, not that time. We were putting up better, oh boy. Oh boy. Better attacking play here, but not not clearly not good enough. So we're gonna if if we survive this, we will literally limp limp into the Irish Irish. I keep wanting to call it the Irish. I spend so much time in that league. That just rolls off the fucking tongue. It really does. I, I apologize. Oh, oh, say, wonderful. But no one can finish. <laughs> oh. And the ones who can finish put it right on the keeper. Or actually, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that. I should say the ones who can finish. The ones who can finish get denied by a damn good save. What the fuck, Hanan? Oh my. Well, on the bright side, the time is winding, winding, winding down ever so slowly. Like, the first half is going quick as fuck, and now here we are, just limping along. Yeah, just send it down there so we can get all out of sorts defensively. What the fuck? <sighs> Jesus. Well, they just can't figure out who's supposed to take that ball, could they? <laughs> and they both were making the same run as if they both had the ball when only one of them did. Uh. Oh, sweet Christ. I thought that was going to be an own goal. I was like right on that back post, too. Just right on that. Just drifting, drifting, drifting. And... The uh, fucking truth be told, FC Jazz deserve to have a fucking win here. They've been better than we have. In the second half especially, Jesus. Yeah, board draw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
well. And that, simply put, was bullshit. Absolute bullshit. So we have a 10-point lead at the top. Oh, my God, the K ah, KTP drew as well, and FC Hawk had decided to smash Helsingborgs. But it doesn't matter because we've only got one, two, three matches left. And we win and secure promotion. Just, just so you, just so you have proof, right there. It's right there, right. Just right, right there. We've won the Finnish first division title. Good, good, good stuff. Um. So what that means is I'm still going to record the next three matches. Um. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm going to still get pissed off and irritated because I don't like losing. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, And then after that, um, I'll go over this again in the very last video. Maybe all three. I'll fucking know. Um, but uh, then after that, I'm going to simulate off-screen throughout the whole off-season take care of all that shit hopefully got all of our ducks in a row hopefully we'll get a bit of a cash injection or at least have some money um i'll figure out contracts um myself i don't think there's really any fan favorites or anyone that has really performed all that well but we'll kind of go over that probably in the last episode um i will do like an off-season episode um meaning i'll probably just uh you know update you just do an update video on like everyone that's you know go come and gone shit like that i still have some time like i said to kind of def decide on the contracts um and hopefully i mean if i have to i'll have to make money that will not really make money but make room that way by releasing players and not resigning some of them i think we've kind of come gone through the course of the season and kind of figured out who we need to keep, who's going to be worthwhile. I mean, obviously, I don't foresee any changes in midfield. I honestly think some of those older defenders are probably going to be gone. Um, but that also requires then um, making it absolutely imperative that we do sign better defenders. And I think we'll, we'll be able to find better ones. I mean, I think they're out there. We just got to go and... I mean, it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be kind of a risk, but it's going to be really a calculated risk. I think we're going to do all right. But um, like I said, that's just kind of an idea of things to come. Um, if if people start watching this LP and stuff like that as we continue to do it, um, if there's anyone, you know, obviously let you like or, you know, worthy of, you know, staying here, shit like that. You know, any fan favorites, whatever you want to call it. I mean, obviously make those make those opinions heard all that good shit comment you know and all that good stuff on the videos um just because you know well, what the hell why not you know a little fan interaction that way isn't terrible right right i'm not saying i'm gonna let you call the shots but you know sometimes sometimes the second opinion really does help out in all honesty it really does you know it helps it helps me just just someone at like approaching things just you know just looking at things a different way, or it's just someone else, you know, that other, especially when you're on the fence about somebody, just someone else saying, yeah, they're pretty good, or nah, dump them, you know, some, you know, quite often, that'll, that'll be it, you know, or the, the, you know, put them on loan, and then, you know, if something better comes along, something better comes along, and that's happened to me a few times, too, I've kept a player, because I'm like, oh, no, I like him, I like him, and then I'd send him on loan to get him some time, and then, in the year that he's gone, I find someone else that I like better and fits better and all that good shit. But anyhow, that is what it is. If you made it this far on YouTube, I'll ramble on more next time. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. Bye.